Hey everyone, welcome back to the Peak Human Podcast. Today, I'm gonna to be going over a chapter in Sanjeev Goyal's book, The Top 10 Must Do Peak Human Biohacks of 2023. And that's almost done. It's almost done. <laughs> well, we're just gonna slash let's, this and say 2024. No, the new book will be coming out. Yeah, the new book is but, coming uh, out. In the meantime, we should we just go through we'll go over some of these yes. so that we can then start a new new chapter. This after. is the one I want to talk about because I have to say I'm guilty of not getting enough of this. Guess what that is? <laughs> Sleep. All right, so number 10 is about wearable technology. And again, these are biohacks. Yeah. Um, so I know that there's wearable technology, but I think what I want to know more about is the importance of sleep. Sure. Why would we care about it? Mm -hmm. um, there is an aura ring, but I know that there's other technology like your Apple phone or mm -hmm. your whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, how important is sleep and why did you think to, rec to recommend this as a biohack? Yeah, so sleep is, you know, we spend about, what, 30% of our life sleeping. And Some all, of us. all animals <laughs> yeah. sleep. So it yes. performs a very important function. Uh, you know, for 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 uh, all animals. Yes. And it's it appears to be that you know if if you if you were to stop somebody from sleeping, within just a few days they'd get they would, grumpy. They would become <laughs> way more than grumpy. They would probably go crazy. Psychotic. Or, yeah, yeah. They would go crazy, or I've they would. Seen you know, it. I mean, it just wouldn't function. Yeah. Right. I mean, so that's how important sleep is, and it seems to have a whole restorative function for the brain. Yes. Uh, really important for consolidating memories and learning. So whatever is happening during the day needs to be processed, and that happens and during put away. sleep. Yeah. And put <laughs> and away. Forgotten and, about sometimes. Put away exactly. <laughs> some parts have to be forgotten. Some parts yes. have to be re remembered under learning. Yes. And all that's happening in the sleep in the different stages. Uh, so that's that's one aspect. And the other thing is that it seems to have some type of potentially like a detoxifying aspect mm. so um, well isn't it like sleep is supposed to be regenerative right yes. like so regenerative. like i know that when i don't get enough sleep like i, I feel it mm -hmm. number one um i am grumpy i am tired and then i i, I can't i can't really concentrate like i i, I lose focus because i'm just i'm so grumpy and i'm like Nothing, nothing works when you're sleep when you are sleep deprived. Yeah, no, that's for sure. So, like, so the so it's really important for this to figure out. It helps with the learning and putting all the memories together, and and the other thing is that it seems to have, like I said, a detoxifying aspect. And I don't know if I remember we talked about an Alzheimer's episode about the glymphatic system. So just like there's a mm. lymphatic system which drains the fluid right. around your body and moves it around. What's glymphatic? So apparently, there's glymph flat glymph glymphatic fluid around your brain ah. which is also needs to, which moves around in the nighttime so and when you're sleeping so sleeping. basically this during deep sleep is when it's in effect removing some some of these molecules from your brain it's like a detoxification gotcha. it's like a cleaning yeah, so, so if your brain happening. can't be cleaned up, it's going to get clogged <laughs> yeah. up. Is that in pretty, fact, yeah. I mean, we think Alzheimer's might be a problem in the glymphatic system. We don't right. exactly know what's going on. But it's a whole new idea that sleep has a very important function. And what's normal sleep is, is very difficult to say. But generally, most people need between six and a half hours to, th to eight and a half hours of sleep. And right. I think about 40 or 50% of the population is sleeping less than their, what they actually need. Yeah, I, I can't recall the last time I slept like seven oh, or wow. eight hours. No, I, yeah. I really can't. Yeah, um, so that's, you I, may, you maybe maybe you you're one of those rare people who don't need as much sleep. I feel but. like I do need it, but you know, but I, I also nap, so I, mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a. So you gotta count that in. Yeah, you that, that is part of sleep. So, and I think napping is important when I'm not getting all of that sleep. But as I'm looking in your book. There's four stages of it, right? And yeah. and one of them is awake. So is that even a stage? <laughs> yeah. But there's the light sleep, the yeah. deep sleep, where you you got yeah. what's N R E M? N non REM. Non REM. Non okay. REM. And then deep REM. sleep is is the REM stage? No. Uh, well. Oh, no. REM. REM is the four stage. So let's just let's. It's basically a cycle. A it's cycle. Just, it doesn't okay. really matter one, two, three, or four. But basically, your body is going through a cycle at th multiple times during the night. And it normally what will happen is that your body will go into deep sleep more in the beginning of your, the night. Right. And then it'll cycle through into REM. So it's, it starts from like, you know, light sleep, deep sleep, REM. Okay. Back to, you know, light sleep, deep sleep, REM. And so what happens, it is cyclical then? It's cycl if you're, cyclical. Yeah. About every 90 minutes, okay. there's a cycle that's happening. So so it's, it's not... 
So for me to think that somebody's in deep sleep for five hours, that's not really the case. That never happens. Like that never happens. There's always... And that's Unless a, that's, they've been drinking all night. <laughs> it <laughs> normally doesn't happen. If anything, it okay. messes, messes things up alcohol. Sure. But, but that's why... Uh, so let's just say the, the, the cycle is happening every 90 minutes. And as the night goes on, we spend more and more time into REM sleep. So that's why when you wake up in the morning, you just wake out of a dream normally. Mm -hmm. Because you're having REM sleep just before you wake up. Because most of, most of REM sleep happens at the end of the night or in the morning. So, so uh, some so of the things important. some of the things that I feel like speaking from my own personal experience um impact sleep is likely um too much the, what they say is like technology at night mm -hmm. um your brain like just not being able to to focus off worries or stress is sure. that that causes it uh, what are other factors of of lack of sleep are there physiological things that impact people's sleep uh, Other than like pain, if they're experiencing pain, it might pain, be difficult sure, to sleep. For sure, it's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many factors that affect sleep. You know, they could it could range everything from uh, what's your sleep cycle like. If you know, if you've been traveling and you're up, you know, jet lagged, mm, and we all have a okay. circadian rhythm. And yes, some we people, talked about Some that. people's rhythms are off, or they yes. just you know they're like early risers, and they're yes. or some people are late sleepers, or you know. So so there's a certain rhythm we have in our own body, mm -hmm. and and that influences your sleep. Uh, you know, your mood will influence your sleep, your anxiety will influence your sleep. So if you have any depression... So, wi so women with, say, menstrual cycles, so hormonal that, Those will definitely impacts? influence. Okay. You know, the temperature will influence your sleep. So oh. that's why there's a whole thing about yeah. using cold to help you go into deeper sleep. So cold, cold for deeper sleep? Yeah, so make sure you set your thermostat at, like, you know, set it to around at least 18 or 19. Don't. Yeah, but I like, I'm one of those people that if, if we were partners, mm -hmm. I'm covered up. And I want to be boiling hot, and then my partner's like half naked. But the no whole covers. the whole night, I don't know. Yeah, so that's normally ah. you kind of want at the very beginning to be warm, but then in the middle of the night, generally you want normal. So that's why I wake up without cover, okay? Because <laughs> yeah, in deep sleep, uh, yeah. you go to deep sleep, and then when you wake up, you again go back into warm. So there is a certain rhythm again to the temperature aspect mm -hmm. that has a huge impact on sleep. Um, obviously, alcohol and drugs, they have, you know, cannabis, sure. they'll have impact on sleep. I, um, I, I so, there's so many factors. So, really. when you have a um, wearable technology, what is it that we're looking for and how can we translate what, we're, what the wearable technology is saying to, like, change our sleep pattern? Yeah, so, like I, love, you know, I, love the, I don't have my aura ring on, but I love the aura ring because it's such an easy wearable. Like, there are other ones yeah. out there, like the Whoop or... Even the Apple Apple uh, Watch, Watch that phone. has it yeah, now, yeah. maybe not as accurate. So the, sure. the Aura Ring seems to be the most accurate uh, sleep tracker out there. And what's really cool about these devices is that they do break down your sleep stages. So you can see, hey, you might just thought you're sleeping for seven hours. Maybe out of that, you only slept, you know, 30 minutes of REM and 30 minutes of deep sleep. That's not mm. great. But maybe you got two hours of REM and two hours of deep sleep. There's a difference. Got you. So the quality of the sleep is really important, and the ring can really help you with that. Okay. They kind of tell you, okay, like, did, were you waking up during the night? Were you, like, right. were you constantly waking up? That's really interesting. So, and then there's, there's things that, as you said, temperature, mm -hmm. the type of mattress you sleep on, yeah. pillow, positioning. Yeah. You know, a noisy partner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People are snoring. That's a major, yes. that's a major issue. Well, you know, as a yeah. as a relationship expert, um, <laughs> there there are more people, and and some people are frowning on this, but mm -hmm. there are couples who actually sleep in different rooms to save their marriage. Yeah. Because they understand that they have different schedules or whatnot, mm -hmm. um, and it impacts sleep, and that's and they know how important sleep is. Exactly. So, so sleep, yeah, it'll save that's marriage amazing. for sure. If you get good sleep. Um, so yeah. The Aura Ring also does track your heart rate at the nighttime, and you can see how well rested is your heart. Mm -hmm. and if, you know, if you've been drinking or stressed out, your heart rate will be up, um, as well as your HRV, which is your heart rate variability. Also okay. tells you, you know, how rested is your heart as well. So there's a number of little trackers apart from the sleep part. Your heart is also being measured on the, some of these sleep trackers as well. Can you give maybe just two or three tips on how to maybe uh, motivate a good sleep like does melatonin help is that is that something uh, the evidence of melatonin that? isn't that great okay uh, yes in jet lag it seems to be helpful but okay you know i think what you can do first the first thing you know good habits would be uh is that you know after let's say seven or eight p.m 
try to avoid any bright lights. Okay. And you know, I do have another hack in there about the blue light blocking glasses. Okay. So I wear my blue light blocking glasses after 7 p.m. every night. Okay. And um, Blue so light blocking because you're tricky, because your body is telling you yeah. that it's getting dark. Yeah, so blue right? light is, is what activates your brain. Okay. In the sunlight, so there's a lot of blue light. Okay. And so when we put on the blue light blocking glasses, we're in effect telling our brain that we're being less stimulated by light. It's time to go to sleep. And so then when your brain is getting less stimulated by light, it can release melatonin. Okay, naturally. It's, yeah. So you don't have to take it. Okay. Exactly. And melatonin's important to fall asleep. So what okay. you'll find is that when you are falling, you're more likely to fall asleep quicker mm -hmm. when you're wearing the blue light blocking glasses or you're not exposed to bright light. So I, I, I think yeah. I asked you this question before, but is doing a vigorous workout at night yeah, that's good or bad? That would be another tip to not do okay <laughs> yeah so not okay so not do, do not do uh, yeah. exercise at night yeah unless it's okay. like sex or something that's a different type of exercise because that yes yeah. okay because yeah. then because can can you sleep better after orgasm like in reality potentially i think the hormones that get released might make you more relaxed and okay people fall asleep cuddle hormone yeah. there you go okay <laughs> oxytocin yeah okay but uh so so less light um avoid vigorous exercise Avoid like, caffeine. Uh, avo I definitely avoid caffeine. Let's alcohol say alcohol as well. After let, def, af, caffeine after let's say the afternoon, alcohol may make you fall asleep, but the quality of the sleep won't be great. Mm, That's for so sure. you think you're sleeping, you think you're but, sleeping but, it's but it's not a, a great good quality sleep. sleep. Okay. And then avoid Note eating. Self. <laughs> okay. Avoid eating late ah. because that messes up your sleep and it'll keep your blood sugars high. Uh, it will. And your body's up. working because it's trying to digest. Yeah, it's not a it's okay. not a good idea. So. Probably stop eating, let's say, at 7 or 8 p.m. if possible. Okay. So give your uh, give your body at least three, four hours before you're falling asleep. So, Good. so you can... Uh, so those are those are some simple... And for those people who decide, who like want to hear music when they sleep or meditate, there's like... Lot, there's lots of evidence on, on some of these things, like binaural beats. Okay. Uh, relaxing that they things can help. that can okay. help. So we can, we can explore that another time, but... Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you for having this conversation. And it's not too late. There's still a... <laughs> we still have a whole month left. Even though the Christmas uh, warnings are I don't out think there. It's I don't think it's dated at all. No. These hacks are still really yes. important. There's some really great hacks where can they Where can they grab this? Uh, it's on Amazon, uh, iBooks. Okay, perfect. Um, Kobo. Seven. Top 10 must-do peak human bio hacks of 2023. Yep. They can go into 2024, but he's going to have a new book yeah, out. We'll have a new book. Um, we've talked about it in the podcast. You can refer to some of those, but the book literally is a great reference it's for you to have it carry. simple read really yes. quick it's not about really it's not a it's really kind of giving you a taste of what you should go and explore yes it's kind of giving you some ideas this is these are the trends quick what, but effective yeah. if you actually do all of these things my goodness great life you're gonna have a bio a, a biohack life so yeah. thanks guys um please like subscribe you can support us um and continuation of this uh, podcast because he does it out of the goodness of his heart and passion you can go to peakhuman.ca rewards yes um and subscribe to uh the rewards for extra perks yeah so like our channel send us comments yeah we'll see you next week take care bye, bye.